Hello and welcome to a series of videos and linked blog posts and using the Tableau public data visualization software which is now in version 8.2. Um, I'll say straight away that this is meant as an introductory series so if you've used Tableau before this isn't for you you'll probably find you're very familiar with mo much of the material. Tableau public is software to analyze and uh, visualize data as it said it's available as a free download which can be obtained from this link uh, all you do is put in your email address and download it uh, there's versions now for pc and uh, apple computers as well um, my students should uh, download it if your laptop make sure your laptop's connected with wi-fi and bring them to the sessions where we'll be covering this material uh, make sure you use this link and download Tableau Public rather than Tableau itself, which is a paid for version. Um, it's not free and it's in fact quite expensive, although it does have a 30 day trial period. Download and install the software on your computer. When you open the program for the first time, you should see something which looks like this. Let's scroll back to the top. Uh, the screen is divided into three regions. Um, the top is an area where you can either import data into Tableau or open visualizations you've created yourself earlier. Uh, the middle section has some links to some training and videos and other material produced by Tableau, and very good they are too. And at the bottom section of the page, we have what they call the Viz of the Day, uh, which are recent visualizations posted by people from around the world. So, well worth having a look at from the point of view of inspiration and see what other people are doing. Okay, um, now as well as a download the software, you'll also need a Tableau public account, which again is free, you can just obtain it from this web address. Uh, the web addresses are I mentioned in the blog post and also linked in the information bar for this video. Um, Tableau public saves to the web, or the cloud as we call it these days, uh, rather than your desktop, so you will need this. Okay, we're now going to look at preparing your first data set for use in Tableau Public. We're going to use a simple data set with some of the data from the UK Nutritional Value of Household Food 1940-2000 survey, which can be obtained from the, uh, the, the, the Department of Environment, Food and Rural Affairs website, DEFRA. Um, it's quite a large set covering UK nutrition from 1940-2000. Um, there's also, as you imagine, data post 2000, which is called the Family Food Survey. It's in slightly different format to the information when you look at now. Uh, with most of the effect in changes in our food types and diet and change ways of collecting data. Later on, we'll look at how to join the two data sets together. But for now, we're going to use a small data set extracted from DEFRA data. Just looking at energy and fat consumption between 90 and 40 and 2000. Uh, in the in the uh, blog, you'll find a link to something called Sample Data Set 1. When you open the file in Excel, you should see something which looks like this. A uh, fairly typical Excel spreadsheet. We've got three columns here. One for year, one for energy, and one for fat consumption. Um, there's an issue with the heading for the energy column, which you might want to have a think about. But for now, what we're going to have a look at is this information here. Which is obviously very important, particularly in terms of referencing. The problem is, if we try to upload this into Tableau Public or any other data analysis software, it'll cause all sorts of confusion because it's non-data information. What we need to do is get rid of it uh, re and recast our data, our, our, our information we're going to upload just as data. Now we could delete that here, but that's, that, that's bad practice because we, what, what we shouldn't do is alter original data. So just to remind ourselves that's original data, I'm going to right click on here and rename this as original data. Then we're going to create a new workbook by clicking on that, which I'm now going to call uh, Prepared Data. Oops. Prepared Data. So we'll go back to our original data again, and we'll just select the information here. We'll scroll down and select it all. Right click to copy. Then just go in here, and we'll just paste it in. Drag that over to make it a bit, a bit clear what's happening there. Um, okay, so in, this information is now in a format which we can upload in the Tableau of Public. So I'm just going to save that before we go any further. Okay, that's as much as we want to do in this video. We're going to keep each one to around five to ten minutes. So we'll uh, put
pause this one now and we'll come back in a little while to look at a word in this data set in the Tableau Public. Thanks for listening.